Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Box and Reviews and How To, and on today's video, a bit of a public service announcement. There is yet another Windows flaw which is affecting people all around the globe. Now, it is actually called the Print Nightmare Flaw, which has been a proof of concept which has been leaked and then distributed. Unfortunately, it was kind of like a white hat which originally found it, but unfortunately it's got out into the wrong hands, so it could affect you. Now, if you don't have a printer, it can still affect you, and even if you're not on a domain or a network controller, that sort of thing, it still possibly can affect end users in the home, in the office, wherever you may be. So if you're running a Windows device, Windows 7, Windows 10, Windows 11 possibly, then these are some tips you can do to actually disable your print spooler, which is basically the method or the vector of attack, so they can actually incorporate code in websites or emails, whatever it is, which can actually kind of infiltrate the flaws in the spooler service. So let's go over to the computer. We'll show you how to use PowerShell to actually disable the service to therefore protect yourself until Microsoft actually pull their fingers out of their butts and actually produce a proper fix for this. If you do need to desperately print something and use that print spooler service, there will be information in this video as well, actually how to temporarily re-enable it again up until the point that there is a proper fix for this. So let's go to the computer and uh, get this sorted. Okay, so we're on Windows 11 here. So the first thing we want to do is to open up PowerShell. So you can use search or your Windows start, however you want to do it. Just type in PowerShell. And when you find the app, again, it might look slightly different on Windows 10, but the principle is the same. So right click on it and choose run as administrator. Very important that you do that. Then you'll get the user account control come up. Do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device, etc.? And we'll click on yes. And now we get our administrator PowerShell. So the first thing we want to do is to actually disable the print spooler. So what we're going to do is type in stop dash service, then a space dash name space spooler dash force. So that is the first line. So once you've got that typed in, all you need to do then is to press the enter key. And for some reason, obviously that is a temporary thing. Windows will actually try and to re-enable that when you reboot. So to stop it actually rebooting the service when Windows reboots. So we're gonna type in set dash service and a space dash name all of this if you're not following it will be in the uh, the video description below so uh, you can just probably copy and paste that if you wanted to so name dash name spooler dash then startup type oh, sorry that should be capital space disabled so once you've got that then you can press enter again and that is essentially it. So that should keep you uh, protected. If after this you want to actually then re-enable the service, then what you can do is again go into PowerShell, open it up as administrator, and then what you can do is type in set dash service dash name spooler dash startup type and then choose to automatic. So that will enable automatic startup of the spooler. So press enter there. And obviously if you just want to start the service, you just type in start dash service and a space name and spooler and hit enter so then you're restarting the spooler service so i'm going to go ahead and do the first one again so force and then do disabled and there we go so we're back to our disabled and hopefully protected version of windows hopefully uh 
This won't affect too many people, but obviously it is going to be one of those things that really you should do until there is an update. I will update this video the moment there is a fix coming out from Microsoft. I will update this video and put it in the video description just to let you know that things have been sorted and uh, you can either revert your system settings or just apply the patch. Okay, so there you go. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Again, all of the information that we've just spoken about will be in the video description below. So if you want to, you can just open up PowerShell as an administrator and you can copy and paste these in there. There'll be explanations of what the individual lines do as well. So if you're not entirely sure or you didn't quite follow, then all that will be explained below. So hopefully this has been helpful to some people. If it has, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. And also, if this is the first time you're seeing Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and you'll be notified of future video releases. So I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.